Today we're going to play one of my favourite games. Um, it's a puzzle game, it's on the Neo Geo, and it's called Puzzle Bubble. Uh, it stars the lovable dinosaurs Bub and Bob from Bubble Bobble. Uh, this time they're tasked with popping bubbles to avoid being squashed by an ever descending platform. Um, I warn you in advance, this music, um, there's a high chance you'll get an earworm from it. Uh, so if you're a bit afraid of that, then I'd turn the volume down now. Right, let's give it a go. I'm going to select easy because easy is hard enough. So the idea of this game is you have to uh, pop the bubbles and you do that by joining three of the same colour together. Um, groups that are already joined don't count as you can see because we've got fours there. But if you add another bubble to a collection like that, they burst. And the idea is to get rid of all the bubbles. You can see the platform descending there. And you've got a guide here to show you where the bubble's going to end up. All very easy, you may say. Second time round, the guide disappears. So you've got to be a little bit more accurate with your... Uh... Oh, I'm going to get the other side. Now you can see why I don't play snooker. <laughs> oh no, completely messing this up. There we go, got it. So the controls are very straightforward. You turn the uh, platform at the bottom of the pointer left and right, and there's a fire button. And you can see if you don't press a button for a number of seconds, you get a countdown. After the countdown's elapsed, it auto fires, which is often not desirable, especially if you're pointing in the wrong direction. Let's see how well I do today. Ooh, that wasn't very good. That was better. Yeah, not doing too bad today. Let's see if I can get this yellow in that gap there. Yes. Blue. Why? Now I'm going to try and bounce the yellow off the wall in. Oh no, that was pure flute, that. I'm not having that. Now, if you get an overhang like the greens, sometimes you can get... Oh, I've got rid of the roll there. You can get rid of overhangs by popping the bubble on the other side of the overhang. Okay, here's a good example. I've got two purples here, so I can use these two purples here to get rid of the purples and that green. Now, can I get those reds in? No, but what I am going to do is I'm going to put that red there because it doesn't matter. Because I can fire that black up there and get rid of the lot. Oh, there we go, not doing too bad here. Oh, this is looking a bit trickier. I'll just fire these up here to get them out of the way. Ah. Oh. Okay, I can get rid of those reds there, that's good. And those reds. Maybe, if I'm lucky, those greens up there. Nope. Mm, okay. You notice the music speeding up. <laughs> Talk about piling the pressure on. Uh, or Amber. But it ain't over until the fat lady sings with this game. There we go, talk about overhangs. I've got these reds here so I can get rid of the amber, the two yellows and the green at the same time. 
There we go. That's a good example of an overhang. Uh, right, I better start concentrating, clear this level, otherwise this is going to be a very short gameplay. Can I get that green in? Oh no. First bubble that goes beneath this line here, um, that's the point where you lose a life. Not good. Okay, the bubbles are not being kind to me today. Oh, I might just do this. There we go. I lost concentration a bit halfway through there. I normally do a bit better on that level. It's quite strategic. Sometimes it's better to hold back on bubbles. So rather than go for the obvious one, um, hold back a bit. Because you might end up blocking a route to a good bubble. Good bubble chain. Good one. Yeah, it's right. You slow right down, music. Got enough pressure on me at the moment. You got an earworm yet? Seriously, I played this for about, oh, I don't know, four or five hours solid when I first discovered it on MAME. And uh, I was humming the tune for months. doing quite well here. So you get points based upon popping bubbles during the game and um, finishing the level quickly. Which I'm not doing a very good job of here at the moment, to be honest. See if you can get the reds now and pop the chain. There we go. Nice one. See, 31 seconds got me 28,000 points. Okay, these packed, completely mixed levels are really difficult. Uh, there's no obvious chains of two or three or four bubbles. So you've just got some fuddly work your way through them. Without making any mistakes, it's quite a precise level, this. Look at that, that was a mistake. I suspect I'm going to lose a life here. Let's see. Oh, that wasn't very good. Concentrating here. All right, pop the blue in there. That was a bit of skill there. That was not a bit of skill there.
No, am I going to lose a life? Might just get away with this. Famous last words. Right, so I've cleared that side. That's good. The game's been kind to me. Give me three greens. There we go. Fantastic. Whew, that was close. Oh, this is a good level. Uh, got to be accurate here now. Let's see if we can do this in the first go. Nope. Okay, second time a charm for this. So you get the idea anyway. It's just more and more of the same. It's a two-player game as well, so... Um, I've never played it in two-player. I don't quite know how that works. Um, whether you get two screens or not, I don't know. Maybe we should try that in a bit before we uh, wrap this video up. That was a stupid idea. There we go. Come on. Oh, that was a good move. There we go. Let's get some of these black bubbles popped. What level are we on there? Three seconds, no bonus. I think you don't get a bonus if you take more than a minute. Seems to be the pattern. So, although I could get the yellow on the right, I'm going to fire it off to the left. So I've got a clearer shot for the greens, which I've missed anyway. <laughs> there we go, got them there. So sometimes it pays to just think ahead before you start firing the bubbles off randomly. I mean, it's not chess, but there's a little bit of strategy involved here. Oh, that was a failure. Uh, black, black over there. There we go. White. Do a bounce shot off there and a fail. shot again. That's better. Oh! That was a bit of a failure. Uh, which way? Fire that there. Nope. I think I'm going to lose a life here by the looks of it. Unless I'm very lucky. It's very much a game where it ain't over to the fat lady sings this though. You can be right down to the last row and still manage to pull it off if the bubbles come out in the right order. There you go. Round 11, no bonus, 126 seconds. How you complete that level in a minute baffles me. Mm, which way? That will do. So as you can see, it's quite an entertaining game. It does get a bit monotonous after a while, though, I must admit. 
Um. Yeah. Maybe should try it on a harder level. There's a certain amount of satisfaction in popping a load of bubbles simultaneously. Some of these more long-winded levels like this just get a bit tedious because you just don't get that. There we go. 77 seconds, not too bad. Oh, this is a good level. I like this level. The levels aren't random, by the way. Um, I don't know how many of them there are. Right, so I'm waiting for a purple one, a uh, blue one here at this point, so I can pop that V shape. That'll be quite a nice, thank you very much. But now the game's deciding to not give me blues, making me wait. So who's going to break first, me or the game? I'm running out of spaces now where I can sensibly put bubbles without... Uh... Oh, there's a blue. Fantastic. So it's playing with your mind there. If you hold off, the reward is there. Fantastic. Uh, purple. Hold up there. See if you can get the blue up in the corner. Fantastic. Get rid of that overhang. And that one. Mm, try the green. Oh, that was lucky. Maybe I'm getting better at this. You'd still beat me at a snooker, mind. There we go, up to round 15. Okay. Mm Where should I go? Oh, I'm making what's called a pig's ear of this now, aren't I? Uh, let's see if we can recover. I'm not going to get those blues, am I? I've lost it now, haven't I? Unless... Oh, no! That was so... Are you going to give me a break? Uh, white, white. Purple. Red, I don't know. Just fire it anywhere. Oh, I am so dead now. There we go. Fantastic. Let's get my name in. So there we go, that was Bubble Bubble. Puzzle Bubble, I should say. 
quite an entertaining game. Earwormy music does get a little bit monotonous after a while, but still thoroughly enjoyable. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what I'm doing, then please subscribe to my channel. And uh, I will see you in the next one.